Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Austin called Cypher back again. And in this video we are going to be creating a centered navigation bar. Today as I was reading through the comments on one of my videos, I'm going to leave a link in the description below of how to create a navigation bar using pure CSS and HTML. Somebody commented telling me, hey, can you help me with a code for creating a centered navigation bar? like leaving some space this side and also space on the left hand side so I don't know it may not be cool but I just want to give you the little knowledge about this and this is the one I tried to create it's having some hover state when you hover over the button it brings that black underline nav, nav menu and this as it's changing using the transition effect and we are going to be looking on that and in five days from now I'm going to be creating a video on how to create a transparent menu bar or menu system like when somebody hovers like this causes a drop down but that drop down will be transparent as you can see even here on contacts you can still see something which is behind the button if it's an image you can still see it as you can see there what is seen here what is shown there can also be seen when you create that drop down list so with those few examples allow me to kick off so when I reload in our browser let me close this one when I reload here nothing will be there so we are going to start something from scratch to the end I put some title so I put centered centered nav so go right and save it should be able to appear in the title bar here so we shall start with our HTML this is the basic structure of the HTML or web page in a web page in the world not in the world because you are missing this the document type which will be doc doc type which will be HTML so that will be our structure right now fully structured so we shall go ahead and create order an ordered list an ordered list so inside this ordered list we shall create the list items so I'm going to copy this on various lines I may change the words on the menu like home, contact, I'll put channel and about. So when I save this, go in the browser and refresh, you shall be able to see this you are seeing it in that resolution cause I came here and increased on the zoom effect so let's put the oh sorry so we have to make these links I'll go ahead and put the anchor tag ahref cause this and this so this word home will become a link and we don't want this link to go anywhere I put the hash hash symbol so we go ahead and copy this we are going to put it on every item paste paste in front of every word and we also close it with it Close the anchor. So, 
so when you save and go in the browser they should appear as links so far so good we are proceeding we go ahead and tackle the style sheet i'm creating internal style sheet and we shall give this an ordered list the id of nav so to target it to target this nav we write the hash symbol or pound symbol nav we are targeting that an ordered list and we shall give it a width of 700 pixels give it a margin give it margin of zero auto and this will be able to center our text before even acting anything on it so list type list style type we shall give it none and this will be able to remove the bullets on our links as you can see we have put it in front like centering it using the margin zero auto and the list item none remove the bullets you are seeing and also gave it some width of 700 so since we have targeted this nav let us target the list item li shall so target the li carry brackets and this if you want your code to be following you can start again with the hash nav li and we shall float it to left float left and boom see what's going to happen we have floated everything to left and this will happen our words will all float to the left and next we target the anchor tags still you can say hash nav list items inside the list items we target the anchor tag so i guess you can see how everything is flowing you started from the url which you gave an id of nav we target it we targeted it and we came now to the list items now we are on the anchor items so nav list anchor tag so we shall give it first of all we shall give it a, a background background color which will be green so don't get scared we have given it a background color of green and it's not looking good we shall continue with our program we shall give it a display of block display block it may not change anything because i want you to see every step we take it will not change anything but somewhere somehow when we include in other things will be useful and shall give it a height of 40 pixels 40 pixels so we shall give it line height of 40 pixels so when we go ahead and save and reload in our browser we shall see be able to see this important stuff we include right now we shall give it a width which will be 150 pixels and this this little man will be fixed this will be a fixed width and don't mind about this what i'm writing this is a comment it won't affect our code as you can see we have given it some width and we don't want this home word to be on the extreme border 
so we shall give it text align which will be center so we want our word to be centered reload and see what has happened you see our word is now centered and we shall give it to remove the lines you say text decoration to none as you can see the lines have gone away and the color is not looking good we give it color white reload our text is white so we go ahead now we are going to introduce what they call the hover state when somebody places over a button you should be able to see as the hover state I'll target the hash nav list a over state you say background color sorry say background color which will be I will write light green Check out this. You can go ahead and use different colors you want. So, if you want to put the other effect we are putting in our code, what you have to do, you have the transition effect. Transition. So we shall give it two seconds, and it will be targeting the background color. Transition transition background color give it is and zero seconds it should not take too long to react so this is how our stuff will be looking like cool so you want to show the other underlying borders you are showing under hover you put border one pixel solid black one pixel solid black when we load the page so as you hover a text whoa border bottom sorry we use border bottom so the line should be at the bottom not the covering the whole item so reload as you can see the line is coming as you hover over a menu it also appears so let us put the other little border you saw around the image the menu what you have to do come in our anchor tags what you have to put is border radius first we give the top we give five pixels on the right we give two pixel on the bottom we give five pixel and on the left we have two pixels so it is clockwise if it's a box a little box like this so we shall give the top five pixels on the right five pixels on the bottom on, on the right two pixels bottom five pixels on the left two pixels so when you go ahead and reload our page this is what we had in the beginning as you can see we are on the gap C in the middle we have put some border border radius and this is it guys thanks for watching i'm sorry if i rushed the code please subscribe on my channel like the video peace i'm out bye i'd like to play with my nav bar Boo-boo-boo. Boo-boo. Boo-boo.